3 as the point 3 is the midpoint of A and B. So here you can mark the point 3 as the midpoint of AB. Remember one point here that in the isometric view or isometric position you should never measure the angles. Okay, always measure the distances of the points and you have to mark with the help of them only. Okay, never, uh, I repeat, never measure the angles when you are drawing the isometric view. Okay, so here you can mark the point 3 as a midpoint of A and B and you can draw the triangle. Okay. Uh, similarly, when I uh, telling you the rectangle part, point D, you can measure the distance of a point D from either point C or point A and you can draw a parallel line with the axis H. Okay, so this line is parallel to the axis H and this distance you know. So, this is how you can mark the point D. Similarly, when you draw the triangle in the top view, you have to draw the axis L and D and here you can mark the point 3 as the midpoint of A and B. Similarly, suppose there is a pentagonal. As I told you, you don't have to measure the angles when you are drawing the asymmetric projection. So, you have, you have to first cover the pentagonal pentagon with the help of a square. Then you can easily draw the is, square in the front view and top view. After drawing that, mark the corner points as a 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So now from these points, you know the distance of point A. Similarly, point 1, you can easily know the point distance of point E. And similarly, other points, you can get the distances from the corner points. After getting the distances from the corner points, you can mark on these sides of a square. Like this way, you can draw the front view of a pentagon. Similarly, you can draw the top view of a pentagon. Okay. Suppose there is a circle and you need to draw the front view and top view of the circle. How will you draw it? Because uh, it is a circle okay, and it is a curved surface. In the previous examples, we are drawing the straight lines. Okay. In the circle, if I cover it with a square, you know only four points okay these mid points uh, these four points you only know of a circle and to draw a circle uh, first you need to draw a square and you, you can mark the all those four points you know okay after doing that what you have to do is uh, from this point Okay, you can join the point A and point B. Similarly, from this point, you can join the point D and point C. Okay, so uh, by doing that, you will get these two points 1 and 2. Okay, so I am naming these all these four points as a 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so uh, you so remember this thing that you are taking those corner points which are uh, where the angle is more than 90 degree. 